Okay, I wanted to show you a little, I guess more like a GIF than anything else, um, of what I mentioned earlier, that vacancies happen because those atoms are moving. And where do they move? Well, they typically move to the surface of a particular crystal or to the particular metal that you're looking at. So over here, I have a little video I'm going to show of the surface of a nickel aluminum alloy, and it's viewed through an electron microscope. Now, this is the 110 surface, which does matter when we're looking at um, this particular shape. So watch this. Watch these little circles right here. These are the surfaces that you kind of see right here. And watch how they change as the temperature increases and decreases. Okay, so it's going up. And you can see as the temperature decreases, it gets much, much smaller. Temperature decreases, it gets bigger again. Back and forth, back and forth. You also see new boundaries beginning to form, kind of spiraling in there. Okay, now we'll stop there. So, each of those little surfaces changed. The little island of atoms grew and then disappeared as we kept on increasing and decreasing the temperature. So what's happening is the equilibrium vacancy concentration increases. Well, new vacancies begin to diffuse into the crystal. And all those atoms that moved out of the way, they move upwards and become part of that little island. So as we get a little gap here, that atom moves up. Get a gap here, that atom moves up. Now, in all honesty, this atom is not going to suddenly jump up here. Um, but these vacancies will move because one atom will move into it. And then that atom will move into that gap, atom will move into that gap, all the way there until the vacancy makes it to the surface. Or vice versa, where an atom decides, I'm going to move up and out, and that one fills the gap over and over until we have more vacancies inside of it. Just remember, these atoms are moving one at a time. Okay, I mean, they're all moving a lot, but they're not going to suddenly jump six positions. It's going to be kind of like a conga line. One's going to move, and another one might follow it, and another one might follow that. And that's how vacancies get deep into our surface. And it will look effectively like this hole is moving, but it's actually the atoms around it that are effectively causing that. Um, I want to make sure they can visualize that. So here we go. You have a, a solid. And if this atom moves over, well, I would see something like this. And it looks kind of like the vacancy has moved, especially when you have a whole bunch of atoms. It becomes very hard to visual or see a particular atom, but it's much easier to see this gap where we don't have an atom. And as atoms move into those spaces, well, that gap is going to continually look like it's moving around. As the temperature decreases, the gap is going to move towards the surface until it finally disappears. As the temperature increases, the gap is going to tend to move deeper into the surface because atoms are going to want to move out. So that is it for this time. I just really wanted to show you that video of how those vacancies form and what it actually physically looks like. You can see the volume of our particular metal increasing as the temperature increases. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.